I assume you didn't mean it like that? Or should I assume you know exactly how you said it? You know exactly how you meant it? Should I assume it's me, sweet disposition? Which Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick weave ponytail using Ivy's baggy method. I was trying to think of a way to do an invisible ponytail because I love the look of it, especially because I've been doing all these removable quick weaves, but I couldn't think of a way that would be efficient, protective, and quick all in one. Originally, I was going to braid it down, take some um, black strips, and wrap these around it, and then I also thought about taking some Marley hair and making like a faux lock and then wrapping the hair around it to protect your hair from the glue but then count on a youtube og to come up with the method that will really help us get it done just like that she did a low ponytail with hers i'm gonna do the high ponytail version on mine and definitely give credit where credit is due because literally i was scrolling on youtube and i'm like she did it it's lit and i don't know why i didn't think of this but i'm so glad she did i'm so glad she thought of this so I'm just going to go right into it. My hair is already slicked up in a bun from me washing it the other day. And we're just going to go through it. So here we go. I usually hate when people do any type of ponytail tutorial and literally show them putting their hair up because I feel like it's a waste of time. But some people like to see from start to finish every little thing that you do. So of course I'm going to give you that. And if you don't want to see me just putting my hair in a ponytail, then feel free to fast forward along to slick it up i'll just be using eco styler and i'm also going to take some as i am leave-in which i already have some of it in my hair and i have some shea moisture oil as well but again that's from yesterday so i feel like it needs to be refreshed and then of course taking my hard bristle brush and some water to re-moisturize and wet my hair i was still a little damp that's crazy y'all see streaks in my makeup this is why i normally wouldn't even do my makeup before doing this but for the simple fact that i'm filming also this is a great debate between me and my sister and one of my best friends do y'all do edge control first or makeup first because if you do your makeup and then your edges it wipes the makeup off but if you do your edges then your makeup then your edges could get messed up so i want to hear which one do y'all do first now I'm going to just get this done really quick. Also, when I do my edges, I just like to, or when I do buns and I want some edges out, I just like to go through and brush them out and then I'll put them back in later, but just so that I'm not tugging. And my ponytail is trying to get grown ass hairs out. And I want mine to sit high, but you could do whatever you want. My laptop, which is serving as my remote shooting screen, that's why y'all always see me looking to the side lately. I use this screen so that I can see what I'm doing without the viewfinder. It's about to die, so let me do that. Okay. And I'm hoping that this method really does work for me because I want to wear a high ponytail to my bridal shower. so good and I'm just gonna continue to break this all the way down and then in the meantime I'm going to lay my edges so that I can set that with black strips while I finish the actual ponytail you'll see it's wiping the makeup off <laughs> I thought I had 
have one more. I took these from my suite because I usually use them for my feet and clients, but I'll use a scarf to secure everything later on. The hair that I'm using today is from Asteria Hair and they sent me three bundles and a closure. I'll list the exact curl pattern in the description box, of course. And here's the closure, but I won't be needing that. I think I'm going to end up saving these bundles for when I want to recreate this style. And here's the texture of the hair. It feels really crunchy right now. So, I don't have a wig brush handy, but I'm going to brush through that. And this is 18 inches. I got two 18 inch bundles and a 20 inch bundle. And when you do invisible ponytails, a lot of people bring me eight inch bundles or packs to do this with because the longest point is that going to be at the end. So this is just going to be a long ponytail, but I don't mind. I like it long. I like it extra. And before we do that, here's the baggy method portion. Um, I used a Ziploc bag. I'm going to use a shower cap. And you could secure this however you feel the need to. I'm just gonna tie a knot. And then cut off the excess. And then I'm also, because that cat just tried to slip back, you know, I am so serious about not getting glue on my hair at all. I understand you can wash it off. Some people don't have an issue. I have an issue with it. Um, so yeah, you just form a little sausage in the package. Oh, that seemed inappropriate. And then to make it more stiff, that's what I was going to use the rubber band for. But since I don't have that, I'm just going to use a hair tie. And you just want to... Basically, band method it all the way down so that you get nice figure. Alright, and then next you're going to take your bundle and your glue. Me and this glue have become so well acquainted in the last month or so. And I'm gonna cut off the end of this track just because I don't like when it curls up. It makes it harder to work with. Apply that glue. And just put it on the base of the ponytail. And, a, and, a, <laughs> and continue to apply it and twist the hair up. You can blow dry as you go. I'm gonna wait until I get to the end to blow dry it, and then you can apply the glue on the track, but I'm trying to make this as quick as possible. It's late. So I'm going to just put it on. Put it directly on the baggie. And wrap tight so that you cannot see the plastic shining in the sun through your ponytail. Wrap tight and close. Unfortunately, I noticed while editing this that I lost the rest of the footage of me finishing the ponytail, but all you want to do is continue to wrap that hair all the way up until you get to the ponytail base. And then with the excess hair, you want to wrap it around to mimic a ponytail holder to cover the space between the baggie and the ponytail holder. So you want to do it the same as you would do a regular invisible ponytail, but just with the baggie as your protection. And then I secured everything with bobby pins to finish it off. This is perfect for weeks where you do not feel like doing your hair just to get you through to your next style or if you want to add a little flair or summertime, springtime, any season. Like if you want to get your hair out your face, out your way, do the baggy method. Y'all, when this, if I get an extended ponytail that's really long, what? 
Like, that would be so popping. Wait, because I need y'all to, I need y'all to feel me on the screen right now. Like, just imagine this being extended onto here. What? What? <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I love me a good high ponytail. Like, it accentuates the face, make them cheekbones look high with a heavy contour. You looking real slim in the face. It's lit. I don't know what I had going on this night, y'all, but I forgot to do an outro. Nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I absolutely love this method, so thank you, Ivy. I'll see y'all in the next upload. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.